this is Marsha Horror, and before I begin, don't think this is my review of the movie preview critic. This is just a response to his res video review of the Wolfman movie. Now, I greatly respect the movie preview critic, and I think that he brings up many valid points in his Wolfman review, even though I don't always agree. But I feel like he kind of got some of the priorities of what should have been the main focus of the review mixed around. Basically, he complains the most about the film's lack of characters or themes. Characters, I could see. Themes, not so much. But it's understandable if you know what he looks for in a movie. Just watch his Avatar review. He likes the fact that the film has the pretty heavy-handed themes. He'd much rather that than no themes at all. That's fine, and I'm not criticizing it. But personally, I prefer themes that are much more unspoken. They're all completely in the subtext. A great example is the original Stepfather and its commentary on pretty much the ideal American dream. Basically, the character loves the idea of the dream so much that he even forces it on the people he tries to make his own family. And that's... In the movie, you see that it's all... It's a sham. It's all false. But, and I think it's wonderfully represented in the very end when the girl is cutting down the birdhouse, which is pretty much the only thing they ever did together, because that's representing that it was all a sham. In a more recent movie, they'd probably have to explain it. And that just, to me, makes it lose all its power. I like themes that it lets the audience make its decision for us. It's not trying to beat us over the head with over-the-top commentary. And this is my problem with newer films like Avatar and even District 9. I enjoyed the films, but only in a visual sense. And its story and its message, I just feel they're too over the top and too overspoken. Let the audience make the decisions for themselves. And he also pretty much... Compl well... My main problem with his review of The Wolfman is that he focuses too much on the fact that it was all about missed opportunities. It's not even so much of a review as much as what it could have been. And once again, good points, but really ask yourself, when you think about a horror movie, is the first thing that come to your mind characters and themes? And how ideally they should be. But let's face it, for the most part, 75% of horror films comprise a visual style. They, people want to watch these films to be thrilled, excited, creeped out, scared, whatever. That is the main, pretty much, idea of a horror film. He's not looking at The Wolfman as a horror film. He's just looking at it as the, any other movie, which in a way is admirable. But once again, I think a major issue with the movies like The Wolfman, and even other action films is your target audience is the ones that are going to be the most interested. When you review Transformers, you think of the tar what audience is Transformers going for. And for the most part, I think the movie preview critic does this wonderfully. He always makes that point when reviewing a movie, whether it's good or bad, or whatever he's reviewing a trailer. But here, I once again, I think that the first half of the review should have been dedicated to the film's visual style. Because that's, once again, most of what a horror movie is all about. Then focus on the second one, what it could have done with the characters and themes, which he actually makes good points on. And But as I said, I think that the themes are best left understated, left to the viewer. And I think The Wolfman does it really well. Its main themes focus on man's bestial nature, which I think they do great by referencing Jack the Ripper, which gives that much more credence if you're familiar with the Jack the Ripper case. And they also pretty much, the transformation is a metaphor for mental illness. Nothing new, but it always seems to be effective. And he once again, pretty much, just think about this. When you go to see a horror movie, is that really the main reason? I mean, does anybody go to see that Prom Night remake to see its characters or themes? Did any, should anybody have gone to see Prom Night at all? That's a much better question. But which leads to my main, 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 main issue that the movie preview critic brings up. He thinks that it's a sign of the movie apocalypse. For one, I do not believe... For me, the biggest worry about the movie apocalypse is the fact that movies don't seem to be trying anymore. Stuff like G.I. Joe or Transformers, they're all just excuses to show blatant 
fast special effects. I guess it's fine if you want to completely turn off your brain, but the fact is the Wolfman movie actually does try to introduce themes. It tries to create established and likable characters. It, I personally think that it succeeds in all these, but a lot of people don't. But to me, it's better to try and fail than to not try at all. And once again, I personally think The Wolfman was a marvelous movie. I do not think it messed up at all. I think it is a great throwback to the old Hammer and even the old Universal films, but mixed in with modern-day filmmaking. It has one of the greatest shots I've ever seen in a horror film in which a character fires his gun, and through the flash you can see that The Wolfman is right behind them. Great, great shot. Much more inventive than anything Joe Johnson has ever done. But now I'm going to say that if this movie fails, consider that a sign of the movie apocalypse for horror fans. What is what? What do we horror fans have to look forward to? The Crazies remake, a Nightmare on Elm Street remake, sequels to these remakes. In fact, I think they're doing another Howling or Halloween remake. It's the same stuff, giving crappier and crappier treatments, and. The fact that Wolfman, even though it is also a remake, it's the most different of the remakes. It's a period piece, and it focuses more on themes and characters than most horror movies do. And what do we have that is being successes? Crap like Prom Night. Prom Night! We're making the crappy movies the major successes, so then they're just going to be making more movies in that same vein. I'd much rather if The Wolfman, good or bad, was a success, so that we could get more movies like it. I'd like to see a fresher style of horror. I'd rather see more period pieces. Much more than the next Saw movie. So think about that. As horror fans, can we let this flop? And I, my opinion, if it does flop, they're just going to make more and more of the more redundant, crappy shit that we're used to. We're, more Ring ripoff remakes. More Saw remake ripoff craps. And I'm really worried about where horror movies have gone. So I really suggest that if you're not going to see it, watch it for the right reason. In my opinion, if you're a horror fan, you have no reason not to see it. And once again, you know, I really do respect and like the movie preview critic. But I'm a little... I'm confused as to why he'd put so much emphasis on the characters and themes in his reviews. I mean, was he that way in the Howl, the Friday the 13th movie reviews? In the Friday the 13th Part 2, he seems to like that more than the other ones. Well, ask yourself this. What do you remember about Friday the 13th Part 2 in terms of its themes and characters? I remember the main girl vaguely, but I confused her with the heroine from Friday the 13th Part 3. And I remember that annoying comic relief guy, but only because he didn't die when he should have. That movie didn't have particularly well-established characters. It was just a creepy movie, and that seemed to be why he liked it. So why does he give that same treatment to the Wolfman? So that's, once again, just remember, horror movies are not meant to have characters or deep themes. They can, and but they're rarities. And in the case of Wolfman, I think you should look at it first as an exciting, creepy intense horror film. And if you think that it's deeper than that, good for you. If not, at least you had a fun time. Well, that's pretty much all I have. I think I rambled a bit too much. I can't even read my notes. And once again, I love the movie preview critic. I think he's great. I think he's probably the most important video critic out there. But he, I don't always agree with him. But that's okay. So that's all. Thank you.